What's going on everybody? Eric here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be shooting with the Polaroid SX70. We're here in San Diego. The sun is setting so hopefully we can get some really cool shots. I'm going to take you along with me. Let's go. So the SX-70 is my favorite Polaroid camera, hands down, no question about it. Um, from the build to the body, it's got autofocus in this one, this is the sonar, plus the lens is glass, which allows you to get really, really great shots, good detail, especially when you're doing portrait work, it just gets really, really sharp, and you really didn't get to see that in a Polaroid before. So I'm gonna adjust my exposure meter because the sun's starting to set, so it's starting to get darker in some areas. And in order to get a more lit shot, we gotta get more light into the camera. One thing that's nice with the S672 is because it has the autofocus, it lets you get super detailed on shots. Like I'll take a shot of this flower right now so you can see. Yo, what's up guys? So I'm back at my apartment and I'm going through my photos and not too shabby. Uh, I'm, as I'm going through, I've got like five shots that I think are absolutely perfect. And then I've got another three that I think are like, meh. Now the ones that I think are perfect, they're sharp, they're in focus, the colors are really, really beautiful. Um, they're kind of punchy. And they were also all shot in the uh, part of the day before the sun had began to fully set. The three that I don't like so much are the ones that I tried to capture after the sun was pretty much down behind all the buildings. And that's what's going to happen with the SX-70 or that's what's going to happen with any Polaroid camera that doesn't have a flash. Um, your Polaroid camera, again, it loves, loves light. I'll link a video above talking about three tips on how to improve your instant photography. And one of the tips in that video is that your camera loves light. So I was trying to push the camera and see just how well it would perform. It wasn't completely dark outside, um, but that just gave me a good indication of knowing that, okay, it's gonna need a lot more light than I thought it was, or I'm gonna have to add some type of external flash onto that. That way I can get those photos the way that I want. Um, you can especially see it on the portrait that I tried to take. Um, it's, it's definitely not in focus, it's definitely blurry, and even if you see the outside of the photo around the, the subject, it's very, very bright. 
to our eye, but to the camera's eye, it's extremely dark. And even if I would have adjusted the exposure composition, um, the camera is very, very sensitive to shake and it's very sensitive, again, to the amount of light. So if I was going to try to get this photo, I would have had to set it on um, a tripod and maybe, you know, had done a little bit longer exposure to get a tack sharp photo um, in those lighting conditions. Or I could have just thrown a flash on and it would have been fine, it would have been no problem. But now we know. And even this photo that I tried to take of this mural, um, as I mentioned in the video, I tried to compensate for it. I tried to uh, adjust my exposure meter and I think I actually overblown it. But because the sun was completely behind the building, I got a blown out photo and one that was blurry itself. I think it was just too much um, for the camera to handle but essentially operator error on my part. And the reason why I show the photos that are in the in the video that didn't come out right is because that's life and that's photography. And not every photo that you take is gonna be a winner, but you learn from them. Everything, every time I shoot a bad photo, a quote unquote bad photo, uh, I look at what I did wrong or I look at why that happened and I just try to build on it. Um, you know, I'm super pumped with the photos that I do love. I've got five solid photos and I think they're, um, they're really, really good. And so I can't wait to showcase these to people, throw them on my Instagram so people can see. But other than that, the S670 is still to this day my favorite instant camera um, to shoot with. You get so much control, you can really get very, very detailed shots on whatever you're taking a photo of. And um, yeah, I can't wait to get out and shoot with it again. As always, do me a favor, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so that way you stay notified every single time I put a video out just like this one. And I'll see you guys on the next one.